Sasha Banks' appearance has been announced for C2E2 convention. WWE is hosting tryouts for college athletes during SummerSlam week. Big E holds no hard feelings towards Ridge Holland. Roxanne Perez and Corey Jade's friendship came to an end on NXT last night. And Logan Paul recently addressed his decision to sign with WWE. What's up, guys? It's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest, and I got several news stories for you here today. We're going to go ahead and kick it off with some Sasha Banks updates. Here we go. Let's get to it. Sasha Banks' first public appearance since walking out of the May 16th edition of WWE Raw has been announced. The Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo revealed on Wednesday that Banks is scheduled to appear at its event next month. Banks will be available for photo ops and autographs at the show on Saturday, August 6th and Sunday, August 7th. Other personalities from wrestling booked for this year's C2E2 include Trish Stratus, Mick Foley, and Lita. It was reported last month that both Banks and Naomi have been removed from WWE's internal active roster listings. Neither has been officially released from the company. However, it was also reported last month that Banks' lawyers were involved and actively seeking to obtain her release from the company. As was the case during WrestleMania week in Dallas, WWE will hold another multi-day tryout as part of this month's SummerSlam week in Nashville, Tennessee. The event will feature both current and recent college graduates and will take place over three days, starting on Wednesday, July 27th. Former WWE Champion Big E will be attending the tryouts along with Paul Triple H Levesque. And speaking of Big E, the former WWE Champion who fractured a C1 and C6 vertebrae on the March 11th edition of SmackDown after taking a suplex from Ridge Holland and landing on his head, said during an interview with ESPN that Ridge Holland sent him a big package of red meat as a way to apologize. Biggie noted he doesn't eat red meat and gave the package to a friend, but he holds no ill feelings towards Ridge Holland. There is no clear answer regarding when he will be able to wrestle again. Doctors have told Biggie that determining a timeline for his return won't be possible until after his neck has been evaluated at the one year mark in March of 2023. And now onto some NXT 2.0 updates. Cora Jade betrayed Roxanne Perez, costing her a chance to become NXT Women's Champion. Mandy Rose retained the belt against Perez in last night's main event after Jade struck Perez with an NXT Women's Tag Team title belt. Jade continued her attack after the match and beat Perez down with a skateboard. Jade revealed that jealousy was the reason for the betrayal, bringing up that she brought Perez to NXT and calling her selfish. Jade's betrayal comes just one week after she and Perez defeated Toxic Attractions, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane at the Great American Bash to win the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. And Logan Paul recently addressed his decision to sign with WWE. Speaking on his impulsive show on Tuesday, Paul commented on his multi-match deal with the company. Paul spoke about the three main reasons he decided to sign with them. He said, quote, For me, there's a trifecta that I look for that decides what I do. When I can mix passion, business, and media all into one thing, I'm like the ultimate me. Business, it's smart, they pay well. WWE is a big organization. And media, it's a show, it's a great performance and entertainment. So I'm excited for this journey and I am very well aware of how powerful a launch pad it can be for whatever I wanna do in life. WWE is a good opportunity for me to leverage one of the biggest brands in the world for my own. Should I show up? Should I work hard? Go do the performances, impress the fans, and just become that WWE character that is either notorious or loved. Logan Paul is set to appear on Monday Night Raw next week. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you would like to chat more pro wrestling with me, feel free to come follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. Additionally, do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to F4W online, and also come check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, here on this YouTube channel, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Before you go, make sure to check out some of our other additional content.